Hey guys, so today was another tough day of trading. Um, so on a daily standpoint, and I know I didn't make a video last night, I was uh, not feeling very good. I'm feeling a little bit better today, thankfully, but last night was a little rough. Um, but overall, yesterday we broke out of our up channel here. So we had our blue bull channel that we are now officially broken out of. Uh, and here we're in a shorter term bear channel. So what we did is after we put our, um, and we do have a daily supply. I got an update here real quick uh, at 4.53 right here. So we put our supply in at 4.53.3. We came down, we took out our supplies here. And today we came down and pretty much at to the almost, um, to the penny basically bounced and turned in that into support on uh the daily here for for spy so this now basically if you look at this going back to august 2nd when we lost and came into this channel here we have been trading in this same about what is this here let's see uh if we're gonna not include that one candle body down there so about a 17 dollar range if you include this candle body about a 20 dollar range now since august 2nd it's about a month of full time of full trading just happening in this range so the odds would be that this is off this 50 ema bounce gonna push us higher the daily dm dmi is oversold here so i am going to be looking for the bounce but it is notable that we did lose the 8 and 20 ema support here but we did hold the 50. so now we're kind of in the chop zone we're either going to see a potential push and basically going into next week uh to close bullishly we need to close over at least 440 447 or the bears really need to close us back under 443. going over to future same thing here today actually we, we broke our blue bull channel of support we had put our supply in up here um at 40, 4527 is our supplies so we have 4527 and 4540 so yesterday we came down and took out 4476 so same thing here if you go back to really august 2nd 2nd when we closed in here we are holding on futures um about at close let's see here about 166 point range so again we're still just in this big consolidation period here now the one difference on futures is we did close under the 50 ema just barely uh but the 8 and 20 ema are about to to swing down and we are again underneath that so you can see we have these bigger wicks here to the downside uh so it suggests that people are coming in to buy the dip so remember pretty much we opened super red today and then we just kind of got bought up uh i'm going to look for the bears to minimally close us at least under 44.45 uh tomorrow or over preferably really 4500 to sort of pick what direction we're going to be testing next we either basically go back to 4527 to 4540 supply or we go back to this triple demand from 4374 to 4383 going over to the queues same thing yesterday we broke our we broke our up channel here as you can see we did put this supply in right here at 378.1 so we have come down taken out one two and three supplies so exact same thing here on queues if you look uh basically our from our low here our demand to our supply we're holding in about a 20 dollar range since again august 2nd so here on the queues it's a little different we didn't quite get to the 50 ema and we did lose the 20 ema but we took it back so we're only really under the 8 ema here bulls are either going to bounce us to close us somewhere close to this 374.75 area to try to get back to 378 next week or we're going to actually just get underneath probably at least 370 and then we're going to start targeting and move back to this 362 um, demand now when you look at the vix here you can see we had our down channel and that has been broken we also had another one that if we draw it from here to here here you can see we had the crossroads right through these two points here so yesterday we actually broke through that so our bear channel has actually been broken and you can see we're now in an up channel the weird thing that you can see over the last two weeks of trading really uh actually what's what is super interesting to me over the last since august 17th is we have only seen the vix close green two days that was the 24th and then yesterday 
Out and sorry, and the fifth. Outside of that, so basically three trading days in about three weeks, the VIX has unwound almost every single day. So we put our new demand in here at 13.1, came up, took out 14.8. We did not, we came really close, but we did not quite get to 15.97 demand. So what I'm finding to be very interesting here is that price action is not really matching up with a lot of the technicals again this week. So what it appears to be happening, and again, I'm not one that likes to say manipulation. It just is what it is. Market does what market's going to do. But there does seem to be a very real case of, um, I would say, VIX suppression. So what I basically mean by that is that there are numerous times throughout the last couple of weeks of trading here where there's been very clear downtrends attempting to form on SPY, but all of a sudden it just gets a big old reversal. And generally when you look at it, it's because the VIX gets slammed much lower and it, it doesn't really make sense. There's been a, quite a few different times where we've seen the VIX even in an uptrend and then all of a sudden we don't even push down and we just have these buyers come out of nowhere to push us higher. But these last two wicks, if you look here on, future, on uh, the VIX, you can see that it is very much so selling off and it is very much so getting pushed down. So now here from high a day to low a day, that's almost a almost a two dollar, almost a full dollar drop on uh, the VIX. Yet if you look at SPY intraday compared to the VIX, SPY didn't really do a whole lot. So we had the VIX completely unwind basically from about 1030 this morning until end of day, yet the yet SPY didn't do anything. So again, it's the technicals aren't really matching up. I would say yesterday's technicals are really the first, the only technicals of the last two weeks that to me at least have made complete sense where everything made sense and flew, fl flowed how you expected it to flow. So I am interested to see what happens tomorrow um, and just kind of to see what, what the market will do on a Friday. So remember this was a short week. Short weeks are very tough to trade. Um, it's usually very low volume rangy weeks. This was an especially painful rangy week though. Um, and remember next week is CPI and then the week after that is FOMOX. So next week should have some pretty solid movement with CPI, but uh, we'll see what the market gives us tomorrow. Today was a rough one. Um, I did post some information about my strategy in the TA, the written TA. Um, I did some research today, some back testing, um, had some pretty, pretty helpful, um, I would say data that I collected that helps me going forward. So some little critiques. So remember the back testing was super solid on this strategy. It had really, really great results. Um, you know, but again, everything can be improved. So this week I was trying to improve on it. And now that we're in the, the forward testing stages, this is where we're going to be in, uh, basically our, our painful stage. So we're going to have to figure it out. So the big thing I noticed this week and especially today was that a five point stop loss was just too tight. There was, especially yesterday too, there was just too many times where honestly, if I would have just had a 10 point stop loss that I probably wouldn't have even gotten stopped out. Or if I would have just held through that drawdown, I actually would have ended up with um, a, a less of a loss playing from level to level. But it is very notable with this tight range and low volume this week, the strategy did fail. So even best case scenario on this strategy, so if we took every single play uh, and whatnot this week, it would technically still be a red week here. Now, max profits are there. Obviously, there was plenty of times that we did go into profits. There only was actually three failed, um, failed moves this week. So again... Uh, definitely notable. So going forward, we'll make a little bit of critiques and try to improve on it next week.